Morning, it's me again. It's uh, 12:17. Uh, I did grab the Directv box. I'm hoping this fixes her problem. It's not her main TV. It's the one in her bedroom. Um, her Directv box is not receiving adequate signal in her bedroom. Um, all she's getting is sound, but no picture. The the screen is blue. She said she hit a button on the remote, so I don't know if it did something to the box itself or what. These boxes have been deactivated for quite some time. Um, I actually have three of these boxes. I really don't need them because I don't have DirecTV anymore. Uh, these are just the standard HD DirecTV boxes. Um, I did get the remote, but the one remote has no batteries in it. Uh, I'm hoping that'll fix the problem because she's got all the other wires that she needs. But I can tell you right now, I don't know if it'll work or not. Um, I'm hoping it will. But we are going to see and find out. Um, like I said, uh, I couldn't even find, find the power cord for the direct TV boxes. I don't know if the power cords are in a box somewhere, but I did find one power cord that will fit in it. Um, and it did power on because a blue light came on. So I just now need to try it and see if it will work at her house. And if it does, she can have it. Um, it may say authenticate box because it was disconnected but this will be the only way to find out if it's the box itself or if it's her TV um, but more likely it's the box because if you've got a blue screen and the screen is blue but you only got sound then it's got to be the box itself um, but yeah I I used to have direct TV at my old house. It was actually my stepdad, the one that got it. Uh, but when he passed away, my mom kept it. And then what happened was the equipment, direct TV, she actually bought the equipment from direct TV, which was three boxes, three direct TV boxes, and then the satellite, but I wasn't thinking when I moved out of the old house and didn't take the satellite with me, because I owned that satellite, and I should have took it with me, because I could have sold it and made money off of it, uh, but I wasn't thinking, because that was a brand new satellite. The satellite wasn't even two years old. And uh, it did work really good, but uh, I well, like I said, I wasn't thinking when I moved I was in a hurry because I had to be out in 30 days and it took me 10 days to move everything, but I also had to pack things up, which took like 20, well, like 18 days to pack everything up and get rid of junk. But, yeah, it's, I, like I said, I wasn't thinking when I moved, because since I owned that satellite, I should have took it with me, but I left it on the old house, which was my fault, because the owner that bought that, the person that bought that house when uh, my mom passed away, because it went into foreclosure, and it went to the estate of us kids, and we could have got the house if any of us kids wanted it. But the house was falling apart. There was too much wrong with it. The bathroom downstairs, it was three bedrooms, two baths. The bathroom downstairs, the uh, toilet was about ready to fall through the floor. It was rotted. Um, there was black mold in the downstairs bedroom, which was right off the kitchen. The kitchen was in bad shape. The floor was actually slanted and sloping in several spots. Um, the bathroom upstairs, the plumbing wasn't good in the bathroom upstairs. 
electrical throughout that house was bad. And if us kids would have got it at the foreclosure auction, the people that bought it, they only paid 20 some thousand for it. And, and what I heard is they fixed it up real nice. I, the only thing that I've seen them do is they ripped off the deck off the back and then put uh, stepping stones leading to the back door and then they uh, trimmed the, the weeds around the sides and I know they put a new window in the front of the house so I wonder what does that house look like now because I haven't lived in that house in almost three years. So I don't know what it looks like now. But yeah, I'm on my way back to Defiance now. Um, I'm hoping that this will solve her problem with her TV in the bedroom. Because something tells me that the, it's not the TV, it's the direct TV box itself. Because if she hit a button and it's just, you got sound but no picture, it's something to do with the box itself. Um, I'm going to hope that this will work. It may say I need to authenticate the box, but I don't know because I know when you get an old DirecTV box and it hasn't been used in a while, you have to call to authenticate it, but I don't know if I have to do that or not. I'm hoping not because that'll take time. But if we get the picture that would be perfect because then we know it was her direct TV box um, like I said I don't even know what she did to it she said that the one in my little cousin's room is working but the one in her room is not working so I'm hoping that I can fix the problem because I know it's not the TV I know that for a fact because the menu's working on the TV, TV turning off and on like it should. You've got sound, you've got a blue screen, which on that TV the blue screen means that it's not receiving signal. So I need to find out why it's not receiving signal. Uh, I don't know if it's just the input that she's got it hooked up on or if it's the tuner itself. Because if it's the tuner itself, it's going to cost too much to fix the TV. But if it's just the the um, connection with the TV, then it with the connection from the TV to the box, then it's a simple fix. But I'm gonna try it. Hopefully that'll fix the problem. Um, if it does, then we know what it is. Like I said, the remote that I grabbed for the box does not have any batteries. So I'm hoping that her remote has the same type of batteries because I don't have any other batteries. But I'm going to cut it off here and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye.